to Back to Basics Weight Loss Surgery channel. I am Janine, your Thursday vlogger, and I just want to stop for a second and please excuse the very loud rap music. I'm doing this in the middle of the day, and my young neighbor adores rap music and is outside washing his car and you know, likes to play rap music loud enough for the whole block to hear, so welcome to New York, right? Okay, so this week's topic has to do with transfer addiction. The question is, have you developed an addiction to another thing since giving up food or bad foods since your weight loss surgery journey? If so, what are they? Are you worried about those cross addictions becoming a problem later in your journey? Transfer addiction? I, you know, I don't really know anything about transfer addictions, like, you know, at all. Um, I mean, you know, I guess there's like a couple things that I could talk about that, like, maybe would be a transfer addiction, um, uh, yeah, I got, um, I got issues. Okay, so on a serious note, this is actually my closet, and this is purely, let me back it up, this is purely summer stuff, okay? That's my bottom rack, that's my top rack, and I have dresses in there, alright? And let me tell you, these are tightly, tightly stuffed, alright? And my hangers are a little bit on the dark side, so maybe you can't see, and you know, there's a... There's a light in here, but, you know, sorry. Um, but these are all my hangers. There is clothes on every single one of them. They go way back here. Um, these are my dresses. And up here, I've got skirts, pants galore. Um, I've got jackets, cardigans. You name it, everything is up here. I even have a painting in my freaking closet. Okay, because that's how bad my transfer addiction is. Oh, and did I mention that I went to Marshall's today and uh, bought some stuff? Yeah. My therapist is well aware of this cross addiction and I am not using the phrase cross addiction lightly at all. It is a full blown addiction. I therapeutically shop. I go out and it makes me feel better, more fulfilled, happier when I can go to a store and pick up stuff and leave. Now let me be specific. I don't go shopping for Tupperware and feel fulfilled. I have to go shopping for clothes. All right, And socks and underwear doesn't cut it for me. It's got to be clothes clothes. Um, I am a clothes whore. What I showed you guys is pure summer clothes. My fall and winter stuff is put away in boxes. Um, in giant Tupperware boxes. I shop to feel good. I shop because it makes me feel good to pick up medium things and size 12 things for my bottom. It makes me feel happy. Is it a major problem? Hell. Yes. Hell to the yes. It is a major problem. Um, I have not gone insanely in debt because of it, but I can tell you that just about every spare dollar I have goes toward shopping. Is that how it should be? Hell no. How am I going to afford plastic surgery in a couple of years if I keep doing this crap? I'm not going to be able to. So what am I going to do? Obviously, this has to stop. I work with my therapist very closely about this. I report to her every week um, what I've bought, how much I've bought, how much I spent. Was it a necessity? Was it therapeutic shopping? We go over this. Um, and 
she gives me feedback on how I did. Um, you know, did I do good, medium, bad? Um, you know, she lets me know. And I know the next week I need to what I call famine. Um, which means I try very hard to go the full week without shopping for anything unless it's a hundred percent necessity like food or gas um, you know I just try to go without so that's what I do to try to work on it I promise you it's a complete problem right now it's not something I've learned to overcome am I worried about other cross fur crossover addictions like alcohol or drugs or um, smoking or gambling no those things have absolutely no interest to me whatsoever um, you know I've never smoked once in my life I have no interest in that um, it actually it, it's actually something I'm kind of allergic to it makes the insides of my nose itch um, so when people smoke around me, I kind of have to get out of the way unless we're outside. Um, otherwise, the inside of my nose itches. Um, drinking is something I do enjoy, but only on rare occasions. Uh, drugs, again, I've never touched drugs once in my life. Gambling, I don't know how to gamble. <laughs> and it looks so complicated to me that I don't think I'm interested. So... You know, that's that's my rundown of my issues. Um, so I think I'm okay. Um, I just really got to work on the damn shopping. <laughs> so that's my take on transfer addictions, cross addictions. What do you do? Do you have a cross addiction? Am I the only one that shops like a maniac? Um, you know, are you as bad as me with shopping? Are you you know, a little bit less, a little bit worse than me. God, if you're worse than me, share, make me feel better. <laughs> um, but let me know. Leave a comment below. Leave a video response. Share with us, you know, what have you transferred addiction over to? Um, share, please. I love you. Thank you so much for watching Back to Basics Weight Loss Surgery Channel, and I will see you next Thursday. Bye.